Okay, so I've already finished up with the 1500 on the DA sander. Now we've got an area that's fairly smooth. Um, it, it still looks like a satin finish. It, it's nice and straight. So I'm going to go ahead and move to the sisal wheel. And uh, a good place if you're looking for some buffing wheels, uh, I get mine from Caswell um, Plating in New York. Caswell Plating is a company that sells uh, some really good high quality buffing materials. They'll sell all the type of rouges that you'll need. In this situation, I'll start out with this rope wheel, the sisal wheel, and I'm going to use some black cutting compound. This is fairly aggressive. And then I'm going to move to a tight spiral bound, and then I'll finish over here. So uh, before I get started here, because it'll probably be noisy, I am going to basically, there's two methods when you polish. You can polish with the wheel, so as the wheel's spinning this way, I can go with it, and that, that way is going to be a little bit of a smoother finish, or I can pull against it, which is going to make more of a cutting effect. So I'm going to start with this wheel because I want to be aggressive. I'm going to actually start by cutting, and then I'm going to finish by, by going the other direction. So it's kind of using the wheel for two different uh, abrasive reason, uh, 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 grits, basically. So I'll go ahead and turn it on here. And I've already cleaned it with the rake here, so it's actually uh, ready to go. I'm just going to put a little material on it. And I'm going to go ahead and start. Again, I've got gloves. I hold my material very soundly. You never want to polish this way or put a leading edge in. It'll bind it up. I've got my buffer bolted to the floor, and it's bolted in a direction that if anything does get caught, it's not going to do any damage. So I'm going to start by, again, pulling away from the direction of the wheel. So I'm polishing or cutting. Uh, as, as aggressive as possible. So, and you want to make sure to do the edges too, especially if the edges are going to be seen uh, on the edge of the uh, of the trim, depending on what type of trim it is. So, if you've got gloves on, um, just be careful. You know, no loose clothes or ends to get caught up in there. So. Uh, and you can see it's kind of got a satin finish to it now. Now if I finish, do a finish cut, it'll even get a little bit better. So uh, this is a good time to kind of look at it and see what kind of uh, marks and it looks pretty good in there so I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off and I'm gonna have to switch wheels because I've only got one buffer here so uh, bear with me for a second here just I normally unplug my buffer and, and do it all right but I want to get this I want to get this changed out real quick and I'm going to the, the tight spiral bound and this wheel is pretty dirty so I'll clean it up with the rake. But anytime you're changing wheels, definitely unplug the machine so it doesn't get turned on. This wheel is fairly dirty, so I'm going to go ahead and clean it up with the rake here. And what I'm doing is just, you can see, it's getting into some new material. And I'm going to go ahead and reload it up with some fresh uh, rouge, some black uh, rouge there. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to actually pull as I cut this direction again. So I'm doing a cut movement, only polishing this direction. And I'm kind of, I've kind of got two sides of a piece of trim here, so I'm doing both sides. Uh, again, I don't want to forget to do the edges here. Uh, Never ever again put the trim in this way. When you do have to do corners in this situation, just do the inside and then flip around and then do the outside. So I'm basically polishing like two halves, but this is not a uh, polishing video. So again, uh, cutting stroke, and it's, it's pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now is go into a finishing stroke. I just finish every wheel like this. Uh, this way, I get the cleanest finish possible, so it's like doubling up the effect of the wheel. And you can see I've got a pretty good, I mean, this is, 
this is probably like a mirror already. But now I'm going to go ahead and go to uh, the finish here is, uh, is the loose wheel and I'm going to use the green compound. This green compound is just for stainless. So I'll go ahead and I've already cleaned this wheel up. I'm just going to go ahead and load it up with some compound. And in this movement, I do not cut at all. It's strictly a finished movement. So the wheel is spinning this way. I'm only going to go this way. Uh, also remember, if, you, you know, if your outside edge is shown, you want to go ahead and polish that and that. So. So now you can kind of see that's basically a mere finish on stainless that started out looking like this. So hopefully that's uh, showing up there. And uh, you can pretty much take any piece of stainless, uh, bump it out, sand it out, file it out, and do everything necessary uh, to save it. Uh, appreciate watching the video. Um,